Hey guys, welcome back to AX3 Gaming. My name is Alec and welcome back to another episode of WWE Supercard. So this one we have all the resets for July, plus we have the leak images for the summer cards. Let's get right into it, guys. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of WWE Supercard here. So unfortunately, I am filming this a little bit later than I usually do. So I had to go ahead and get the second Dragon League card without you guys. So unfortunately, we're not gonna be playing any war games today just because I was away this weekend. So I'm recording this a little bit later than I usually do. So unfortunately, the war games event has ended Ended, but we do have our heroic dragon lee and our regular dragon lee all ready to go here all the matches are finished so i'm going to go ahead and pro him up here all the equipment's going over very cool over to our males now he is already in our top eight without even being fully leveled up yet but let's finish off these last couple levels here all right and he is done up there he is right now lower than tyler bait but Tyler Bate is in a momentum slot. And there we go. He is just behind Joe Gacy there. So pretty cool. So Dragon Lee is my second highest card right now. He also has a crappy equipment on him. So I'll fix my equipments after. So I wonder if he's going to pass Joe Gacy after the equipment. I honestly doubt it because this Joe Gacy is a really high rank. And uh, the Dragon Lee is only half heroic. But we'll see what happens with this. A pretty awesome looking card here. I do like the heroic image of or heroic style of these cards with the armor and all that so a very awesome card with this dragon lee card as far as other things coming down the pipeline for my deck i got a pro of this special edition cane card which was actually super easy there's still by the time i'm recording this there's still a little bit of time left to do it but i think by the time you're watching this it is now ended the cane event so i was able to just do a bunch of tag team takedowns and i was able to just through that get two of the cane cards so i'm in the middle of doing the matches on both of them there also got this carl anderson card which i'm in the middle of doing the matches for this carmelo hayes card which i'm in the middle of doing the matches for and then this miss so that's four more myth pros coming down the pipeline unfortunately two of them being right arrows and I am like over stacking my right arrows at this point. It's kind of ridiculous. So we're going to have seven right arrows in my top 16 here once I finish up with the, the ones I have to pro. But on top of that, it, it's once I finished proing all those up, I'm no longer going to need myth males anymore. So I feel like that was pretty quick. I feel like it usually takes us a little bit longer than that to complete our entire uh, myth male feature here. I am going to keep my myth cards locked for a little bit longer because I'm going to want to get a couple more left arrows and down arrows for now. Unfortunately, I never got a second shot michaels from that uh, reward mania and i don't know if the puzzler is coming back but maybe i'll get another one of those but yeah for now i no longer need myth pro males or at the arrow deck would i get a couple more of the males so that's pretty cool i'm kind of lacking on the female side right now i only have one i had a chance to get another with the ava but like i said i was out of town this weekend so it was kind of tough to play regardless even getting through the heroic there i should say so ava would have been a pro there but unfortunately i did not have a chance to get her but hopefully i'll get some more females pretty soon all right and next up here guys we got a lot to look at because it is the month of july now so a lot of new resets and changes that have been dropped into the game so first and foremost right now just for this weekend up until the fifth uh which is this coming wednesday so by the time you're watching this you don't have that much time left but money in the bank uh super coins are doubled so the amount of super coins to celebrate money in the bank weekend have been doubled so uh you can get 100 super coins per match instead of the regular 50 so that's pretty cool so uh this wednesday on the 5th like they've announced already the summer cards are dropping in the game with the fusion chamber event uh kicking that off with the ingredients and all that uh we have a look at what the summer cards are going to look like we'll take a look at that a little bit later they did confirm in this calendar as well that the same day that 24 7 championship mode is starting up again that day they just don't have an icon for it but yeah on the fifth we have uh the summer cards plus 24 7 championship mode and you'll be able to get those collectibles from 24 7 championship mode there so that's pretty cool fast forward a bit to the 11th where we'll have a quest for the jaws of summer which are the summer cards and i assume the way they usually do it is they have the collectibles as the under rewards and then you usually get one of your tier they're usually kind of giving with the seasonal cards since they're not that amazing and then there's they're also kind of widespread at the time so they're a little bit more giving with those so i'm sure you'll get one of your tier with uh with this one for completing this quest i assume you'll get a summer card of your tier for that keeping it going here on the 17th there's going to be another collectible event so we've had a lot of collectible events lately which i'm not complaining about but some of them have been hard other than the cane one we'll see how this matt riddle one is going to be but speaking of the matt riddle one i have actually a little bit of a leak to take a look at so we'll take a look at that in a little bit but 
uh, the Matt Riddle card will be dropped on the 17th and you'll collect some Riddle tokens to be able to redeem for that card. We're not sure exactly how that event's going to work yet or where you get the collectibles, but just know that it is coming on the 17th. And then on the 18th, we're going to have two, I assume two new special edition cards with this Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn card. And they're going to be featured in a uh, Friends Forever quest. So it seems like we're going to have two other special edition cards coming in with that as well. And all these new special edition cards are all winding up to the 25th here with another reward mania. So this is, I think the quickest we've had reward mania back to back, at least that I can remember. But uh, yeah, we have reward mania coming back again at the end of the month and it is running until uh, the beginning of August. So that is pretty cool there as well. So that's about it as far as all uh, the special dates as on the calendar. Uh, as far as events for this month, we have code breaker coming this this weekend for a ranked event card and then we're going into the women's event card with giants unleashed and then the following weekend we're going to have the brand new road to glory which uh, we talked about in the last episode how it's being modified so that's going to be the first trial one with that although they have brought it in with team road to glory but this is going to be the very first singles road to glory uh, with these new changes the week after that we would usually have a ranked event but we're going back to a regular event and not only a regular event but a flash event so ring domination is going to happen on the thursday all the picks are going to be doubled for that to make it go a lot faster and then starting on the saturday we're going to have war games which once again the points are going to be doubled for that to make it go a lot faster so you'll be able to go through two entire events in one week and get an entire pro card instead of just one. I'm actually not really sure why they're doing it like this because the, the reason they usually do these flash events is when it's supposed to be a non-ranked event coming up but they only have one week before the next tier is going to launch they just like shove it into one weekend instead of being able to spread it out over two weeks but in this case it was supposed to be a ranked one so i'm not sure why they didn't just keep on with the rank one instead of doing a double flash event but either way it seems like because they're doing this flash event that weekend that the following week uh which i assume will be the wednesday which is august 2nd will be the and also coincides with the end of reward mania i just realized is going to be the launch of the brand new tier which are we already at SummerSlam? are we already getting SummerSlam cards that seems a bit early i don't know am i maybe i'm just tripping uh and i don't remember properly but it seems like actually no that makes sense because money in the banks at the beginning here yeah SummerSlam is going to be at the beginning of august so yeah that makes sense we're going to be getting SummerSlam cards so keep an eye out for the SummerSlam tier coming at the beginning of august i'm really looking forward to that um i feel like this myth tier kind of flew by pretty quickly I, i'm enjoying this one quite a bit uh, and i hope you guys are as well but that's about it for all the regular calendar uh, events going on as far as rewards we have the same rewards as always uh the only real difference here is this brand new sh uh, summer card back which you can see there so that's kind of goes on theme with the summer cards which we'll take a look at the leak preview of that in a second here but all the other ones appear to be the same as usual there so that's about it for the calendar guys and keeping it moving here we can take a look at the superstore which reset for the month of July. So if we scroll down a little bit here, we can skip over the stuff that's usually the same. We now have regular myth cards in the store. So for 14,000 super coins, you can get this Austin Theory myth card or for 12,000, you can get a random single one. We scroll a bit lower here. You can get that special edition Gunther WrestleMania 39 card for 9,500 tickets and a Ricky the Dragon Steamboat WrestleMania 39 card for 7,500. And then you can get the base ones, either a pair for 13,000 or a random single for 6,300 down a little bit more we can get this animated stone cold steve austin royal rumble 23 card for the special edition for 5250 super coins and then the base card is cameron grimes here for 4200 and then you can get a pair for 7350 or a random single for 3500 keep it in moving we got the raw is 30 special edition becky lynch card as the special octane card for 3300 super coins and then you have the base and the pair as usual and then the rest of these are are just normal keeping it in moving down here we got a couple new and returning card backs here so this is once again one of the older ones this brock lesnar one pretty cool card back here not a logo i've really seen him use before i know the sword is the tattoo on his chest but this like entire piece as a logo is something a little bit different so i do like this card back it is a one of the original ones that has come back similar to how they do it every month here another one that is returning is this trish stratus one on theme with her coming 
been back for the last almost half a year now actually though that i'm thinking about it i was gonna see the last couple months but it's been actually a lot longer than that and a pretty cool card back here as well you got like the looks like a disco ball in the back with the pink and the trish stratus name pretty cool i don't think i'll pick that one up but it is a cool one the really cool one which i think this one is new if i'm not if i'm not mistaken yeah it says it's new up there is this brand new umaga one which is pretty cool to see something umaga related we haven't gotten too much umaga content in the game he's had a couple cards and stuff but nothing too crazy but i think this one is super cool you got like kind of like a sketch look to it the black and white theme um not just his logo slapped on the back but something a little bit cooler so i'd say if you're a fan of the anawahi family and uh the bloodline maybe pick up this umaga card or if you're a fan of solo sokoa who bases a lot of his personality and offense off of umaga there's a little homage to him as well but that is all the changes in the superstore guys let me know if you're going to pick up any of these cards or if you're going to hold off on your super coins for now because those premium live event cards are changing very soon and we're going to go through those as soon as they drop i have a feeling it's going to be money in the bank cards eo sky and damian priest as the money in the bank winners but we'll see what happens with that with this battle pass dropping we have so much to go through at the beginning of every month now but we have a brand new battle pass this month we are on the theme of china China. so we got some not only china but eddie guerrero stuff going on in here as well uh some pretty cool stuff so first off we got the special edition china card which is the be all end all card of this battle pass this month so there is that china card looking pretty cool actually i do like this one the purple and kind of kind of makes it look like the incredible hulk or she hulk like smashing through a wall or something i think it is looking like a pretty cool card there on the theme of eddie guerrero you also get an eddie guerrero portrait card with this we don't have really many special edition or event card eddie guerrero's right now but maybe that's going to change pretty soon that's why they've dropped it in the game since they were a pairing china and eddie guerrero at one point it makes sense to include some eddie guerrero stuff in here as well also got this china card back which is pretty cool uh on her dx theme and i think that's her signature in the bottom left as well pretty cool card back there if you're a big fan of china and then some perks there as well some of those perks that we've seen recently as far as the attitudes we got like an eddie guerrero one here can you feel the heat Heat. we have a china one here pardon me while i muscle in <laughs> also got is that it no there should be another one as well there we go uh matt riddle to go with his special edition card a little bro bro there oh i thought he was holding is he holding what is he holding oh no it's just his fingers i thought he was holding a croissant for some reason <laughs> it looked like he was holding a croissant but anyway uh that's the matt riddle attitude there as always we have the silver one plus the gold one on the gold one you get this cody rhodes card back as well what else special do you get on this side a cody rhodes emote which i think a lot of people will like this undeniable i've never really heard him say that before but it's a kind of a cool attitude there and then you obviously get a second china card so a change that they made with battle pass now is they, i guess they've seen a lot of people complain about the price so they've significantly reduced it so the carmelo hayes last month if i'm not mistaken i could be wrong but i believe it was 69.99 right i'm, I'm in canada so that sounds a lot worse than maybe it is for the rest of the world but I think it was 69.99 and they brought it all the way down to 39.99 for the gold one so that's i guess a little bit more reasonable i'm just trying to see because i i might have got it wrong whereas i thought the only way to get a pro was through the gold version but now i'm hearing that there is a quest for the people who bought the silver version as well i thought they were only doing that for the dominic mysterio one but i guess they did do it for this one as well i guess the only benefit of doing the gold one uh it's just to get the card a lot sooner than having to wait all the way for that uh quest at the end of the month i might be wrong about that and it might be the gold way is the only way to get a pro of it but as of right now i am not really sure actually so if it is the case that you can do a quest and get the second one then maybe i'll get the silver version of this i don't i'm still not going to get the gold that's way too much money for no reason but maybe i'll get the silver version if it's true that at the end of it there is a quest so i'm gonna keep my eyes peeled for that but but uh yeah they made a couple of changes to the july battle pass all right i'm flipping over here so over the weekend and one of the store resets and you guys might have seen this as well but i took a screenshot as soon as i saw this so on the rule of the ring which was for a tyler bait card uh, or the special edition tyler bait card they had this as the poster image which i believe was an error because they did eventually like a couple hours later go back and change it back to tyler bait but they showed this riddle as the featured 
image uh, of this rule of the ring pack here so that might confirm a couple of things here one that matt the matt riddle special edition card later this month is going to have a rule of the ring as one of the ways to get him the other thing it confirms here is that this looks like it's going to be the image for the special edition matt riddle card and then third since it looks a little bit more like animated cartoony here i think it's going to be another one of those animated cards maybe him like scootering through or something it kind of looks like he's in a in a pose of like being on a scooter or something so i think this card is going to be super cool so we have a little bit of a super card error which gave us a little leak of the image which i believe like it's fairly i'm fairly confident that this is probably going to be the image just because why would they have this image loaded up if it's not going to be something that's in the game, especially with the fact that we're getting a Matt Riddle card later? It just too many things lined up for it not to be <laughs> the Matt Riddle uh, image there. So we got a little preview of the Matt Riddle card that is coming closer to the end of the month. So keep an eye out for that when it does drop. All right. And last but not least here, guys, we have the leaked preview of the brand new summer cards this year. So they are going like the card back on a shark theme as usual keep in mind that drew mcintyre is just a placeholder for the time being he is not going to be necessarily a superstar he's also not necessarily not going to be one as well it's just uh, a random card to be a placeholder for the time being so as you can see which is pretty regular we have the top three tiers as the summer cards so you got royal rumble 23 wrestlemania 39 and myth from left to right there i actually really like these cards uh if i'm being honest i love the sharks in them and i love how they made each of them like per really personable to the different tiers as well except for maybe the royal rumble 23 so the royal rumble 23 just seems to be like the base regular version of the card it doesn't really have anything to do with like a deck of cards which was the theme of the royal rumble 23 tier it just kind of looks like a regular shark week or shark jaws type of card but if we go over to the wrestlemania 39 version of it we have instead of a regular board there we have the the marker smacker thing uh, and a coffee cup and like a reel of film uh, on the movie theme for the WrestleMania 39 tier. So that makes it a little different. And then if we go over to the myth one, it's completely changed like the art style of it and everything to make it look kind of like more like a, a cell shaded book, kind of comic book, exactly like the myth tier. Super cool variations. It's pretty easy to tell which is which um, just by looking at them here. And uh, on top of that, they're still like all on the similar theme, but have a little call back to their original tier as well. So I really love the way they did design these cards. I think they're super awesome. If they have the uh, summer event fair and easy to get the cards and that's all good there, then I think we're gonna have a really good summer event here. I'm really excited to get maybe a couple of these myth cards and hopefully they are pretty good. But yeah, I do also like, like I said, the Royal Rumble 23 and the WrestleMania 39 versions as well. Let me know what you guys think of these leaked summer cards. Are you gonna try to grab them? Are you gonna skip this seasonal event? And what? how do you feel about the fusion events in general are you a fan of them or are they kind of played out at this point i feel like they're getting a little repetitive but they're not they're not that bad i find they are pretty good all right guys and we covered a lot this video we got a lot coming down the pipeline including those summer cards coming on wednesday like i mentioned plus a couple of quests reward mania a lot of brand new special edition cards i'm looking forward to all of it and i hope you guys are as well thanks so much for some bye guys hope you did enjoy there's subscribe button right underneath me here some more videos on the right and i'll catch you guys in the next one